When you have your finances in check, you have at least 50% of your entire life in check. Today's video is a highly requested one because a couple of weeks ago, I posted a video sharing 10 things that I had to cut down on so that I could level up on my finances. And in that video, I mentioned using a financial budgeting system and asked if you guys wanted me to share it with you. And a lot of people in the comment section said they wanted me to share my financial budgeting system. It was actually really nice to see because it tells me that a lot of people are actually very hungry to level up on their finances. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you how I keep my finances in check using a very simple budget system that allows me to account for every single penny that I got. I know that this video is going to be a very helpful one, so let's get right into it. Using this budget system has greatly helped me to organize my finances a whole lot better and has also greatly imparted my attitude towards money. It makes me see money as a valuable tool that is actually necessary for me to thrive on this earth. So because of that, I put a lot of value and respect on money. There is really nothing better than having a written down overview of your income and expenditure because it guides a lot of your financial decisions and helps you know when to save more, spend more, when to invest more, and pretty much when to make the right decisions as far as your finances are concerned. This budget system has also helped me tremendously to channel money into things that are very productive and profitable to me as an individual. I've also used this budget system to invest in startup businesses and then also invest in businesses that require growing capital. Now, I'm in no way a financial advisor or an expert, everything I'm going to be sharing with you today are things that I learned on my level up journey, especially with regards to my finances. And they have they are things that I've actually put to work and they've produced tremendous results for me personally. And I know that if anyone actually takes this seriously, it would also produce some results for you as well. And I really am excited at the fact that a lot of people are really looking to level up on their finances. Because like I said earlier, when you level up on your finances, you've actually leveled up on about 50 percent of your life. Now, it's very, very important that you are giving every penny you have an assignment. Tell it what to do. It needs to be put to very good use. And this is what this budgeting system is going to help you do. Okay, without further ado, let's just get right into this budget system because I'm about to share with you a very, very major intimate part of my life. You know, when we bring out the computer, you know, it's serious business, right? So let's do this together, shall we? Okay, so right in front of me, I have um, an Excel spreadsheet that I created sometimes in 2018 when I was actually trying to level up on my finance and just get an overview of what my income and expenditure is uh, or was and still is. Um, and the best way I'd advise anyone who actually wants to do this is to actually have um, do this on an excel sheet but if you don't want to do it on an excel sheet you can do it the tedious manual way by using a pen and a paper but an excel sheet makes everything so easy and i've actually taken this a step further and what i'm going to do is um, at the end of this video you can go to the description box and click a link to download a copy of this spreadsheet at a very little sum and um, this took me a lot of time to create but i'm going to be giving it to you guys at a very giveaway price it just helps you put every single thing together and later on in the video i will tell you how um, you can access it and everything that's going to be in the spreadsheet when you download it but for now let me just give you an overview of how to create your own financial budget system just in case you want to do it by yourself okay now i'd also advise that if you're a business owner um, and you have multiple streams of income it's important that you are separating your business finance from your personal finance it's actually very important that you don't mix up the two for the sake of this particular video i'm going to be focusing on the personal finance that's my own personal money and how i take care of it and as a business owner myself um, even though i have full authority over what happens in my business finance i still operate a salary system where i pay myself a salary and earn a salary like every member of my team that way i'm able to keep proper accounts of 
the money that goes into my business and I'm rechanneling the funds into the business and not spending it on my personal self. So the only monies that I'm allocated are monies, are salaries that I earn on my different businesses that I run. That way, again, I'm able to maintain a proper business financial record. So my Excel sheet has four different pages. It has the page for the budgets. It has the page for actual. So a budget is pretty much your projection of what you intend to earn during a particular period. So it's about, we're well, going into the new year very soon. So you, you just start to budget, okay, what do, I in, what do I intend to earn in January or February based off of what you are already doing or based off of the businesses or the jobs that you're already working. Actual, the second page, which is the actual, is what you are, what now actually happened for a particular month compared to your budget. Then the third one is now a daily income expenditure, just in case you want to keep a more proper day-to-day -day account of how you spend your money. And then the fourth page is just a summary and overview. Now, the way this Excel sheet works is that these four pages are actually interconnected to each other. So the way I did the formula is whatever happens on page two affects what happens on page one. That way you don't have to use your calculator to calculate or compute anything. All you have to do is just impute your income and impute your expenditure. And then everything else is calculated for you. If you purchase um, this Excel sheet later on, um, you would see a breakdown how I really explained how to use the Excel sheets and how to impute your figures without stressing at all. So the very first things first, if you want to create your budget system, is to determine what your income is. You may have multiple sources of income, which I'm a big advocate of. If it's just one source of income, under your income tab, you just put, um, if you see here, I put salary on business one, salary on business two, because I personally run a multiple source of income stream. I'm, I'm about that life, okay? So you can see me have, sometimes you can go as much as having salary on business 10, salary on business 11. It's totally up to you. If it's just one stream of income you have, you put it there under the income tab. And then you see the other columns have January, February, March, April. That's a 12 month system because I'm doing this for a monthly, um, my, my, my budget system is a monthly budget system, if that makes sense. So I'm um, assuming that for my salary on business one in January, for example, I'm earning 500,000 in, in, for business two. In January, I'm earning a million. Remember, these are assumed figures, not the original figures. Now, I'm also including the cash gifts that I receive. Um, people sometimes dash me money. I love it because I give and I expect to receive. So when I receive cash gifts as well, I add it into my budget system because it also makes a part of my finances as well. So um, if you're gonna purchase this, um, the rows that you see in pink are just rows that you can use to add more of your income. If you have more than five, if you have more than five, you can just use the, the, the rows in pink to just add more of your income. And at the end of the day, you come and you calculate your income. If you click on this tab now, um, this tab already has a formula that calculates the entire um, income that I've spent without me having to use my calculator to actually calculate. And when you purchase the when you purchase this, you have it's actually is already done. So once I'm done with that, the next tab you see are is the expenses. You want to ensure that you are calculating your expenses. Now I usually start by calculating the expenses that are reoccurring that are that have a fixed reoccurring amount. That is usually my tax, because I pay tax as a responsible citizen of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. <laughs> And then of course my tithe, my tithe is 10% of my income and this is what I do. My tax is usually, I put a figure there but there's a particular, there's a figure for that, but I just put 5% there. I usually deduct my tax first before I deduct, deduct my tithe. So um, if you come here, my tax for example is 130,000 out of the money I've made in January. Um, if you come to total after tax, um, I'm deducting the, the tithe from my total um, income for the month, and that's what gives me um, this amount. And from this amount, from here, I'm now deducting a 10% tithe, which is 200, 247,000. And then this is what now leads me to what my income, my real income is after deducting 
my fixed reoccurring expenditure, if that makes sense. Then the next expenditure I have are my living expenses. Now, living expenses are pretty much all the things that helps you thrive on a day-to-day -day basis. I've put down here things like your rents, your electricity bill, yeah, that's for me, it's diesel and NEPA if you live in Nigeria, cooking gas, internet, mobile phone, hair, makeup, wardrobe, home maintenance, all the things. So you sit down and think, what do I spend my money on on a day-to-day -day basis that allows me to thrive um, every day? You create a budget for it. Now remember that this page is still the budget system where we are trying to project what we are going to be earning in a particular month or in a particular year. So this is still a budget. So I'm creating a budget for hair. I want to spend only 50,000 naira every month. For makeup, I want to spend only 10,000. For my house rent, you already know where you live. For example, if you live in a place where you spend 4 million naira on as rent, you divide the 4 million naira into 12 months and you're able to determine how much you're going to set aside from your income for rent for that month if that makes sense so that's what i just did here i divided my rent into 12 months and then i set aside um it's 333 this is an assumed figure i have to say that again and then i just spread it out throughout the month so i know that every month i have to set aside this amount of money as my rent from whatever income that i have that electricity bill based on my current electricity um, billing I, this is my budget for electricity bill every month. So this expense, this budget expense actually helps you now to determine how much you need to make every month so that you are well, you, are, you can sustainably and consistently pay all of your bills. That's why it's important to have a budget. This budget will guide you so that when you are not making enough money, it gingers you into saying, ah, I, don't, I'm, I didn't bring out rent for this month. Or, it means I have to go and make more money to get my rent out or pay, so that I can pay my bills comfortably and easily. So after all of that, I, I have things like car maintenance, data, public transportation. If you use Uber, if you use bikes, if you use tricycles, you have that all written out. You have to be as explicit and as detailed as possible when creating a budgeting system for your finance, for your expenditure. Now, if you purchase this, you would have the, the, the rose in pink. It's just for you to add more expenditures if you have more than what I have already outlined here. And then when you click on total for living expense, or it helps you just calculate everything under your expenditure. You calculate your total for living expense by just calculating all of your expense under living expense. And then to get your total after living expense, you just subtract your living expense, the total for your living expense from your total after paying your tithe, okay? Now, after that, the next, row or you see is um, other expenses so you might have other expenses that's not necessarily in your living expense under here you would have things like charity and giving i'm a big giver because i believe in the law of giving i love to give so i have a budget set out for giving under in this table an assumed figure that i put here is 200,000. i must not exceed this 200,000 naira budget for giving and charity every month again this is an assumed figure and then under here i also put miscellaneous sometimes things come up that we don't have plans for and it's important to just allocate funds for that as well so you're not taking funds from somewhere else to allocate into your miscellaneous expenses now once you're done computing again the the rows in pink just shows that you can add more um, other expense if you have other expenses that I may not have outlined here on my own table after that you calculate your total your total for other expense and then you calculate the total after your after removed subtracting the other expense so your total income after you've removed all of your expenses what do you now have left now to get your net profit which is just the money you have after you have paid off all of your bills you simply just subtract your expenses from your income so the total expense your recurring um, fixed expense your living expense your other expense, you subtract it from your total income. And what you have is your net profits. According to this table, in January, my net profits would be, or should be, because it's still a budget, 986,000 whatever. 
And then after that, you can now decide, okay, this is the money that I've, I have left after deducting all of my expenses. What do I do with it? For me, I do either of two things. I either save them for projects that I have or I save them for investments. Now, projects come up during um, the year for me. For me, for example, a project that I had this year was Project Range Rover to buy myself. There's this model, like I love Range Rovers. Those of you who know me know that I drive a Range Rover. And the, but there's this model that I want to really buy. Now, guess what? I've actually been able to save up money to buy myself that Range Rover. But every time I make that money, I don't even see myself going to buy that car because I'm like, why would I want to go and buy the car when I can invest this thing into something else that keeps generating more money for me? Guys, I love money. I'm sorry, but I really, really, really love money. But I said to myself that this year, that's the coming year, I must actually get me that new model of Range Rover. And so because of that, I have a savings for the project. I call it Project Range Rover. And here you would see that I'm saving a 20% of my net profits for that project. So whatever I have left, I'm saving 20% of it for the Project Range Rover. Another project that I've put down here is project add 10 more people to the free education program that I run. So I give people free education. God has blessed me so much and I have to pay back to my society. And I believe so much in learning. I believe so much in developing people's minds or helping people just achieve their full potential. And so I usually would um, sponsor free education for people. And part of the project that I want to do this year is add 10 more people to that program. And so I'm saving up for it. Another project here is um, do up my walk-in closets because I love to look good and I love to see everything that I wear. Another project is vacation. I love to take vacations twice a year. Canada and Paris is on my list. Remember, this is just an assumed table. Let's not get carried away with this too much info that I'm sharing, okay? <laughs> Now for the rose in pink again, if you have more projects to add, you can just add it here. And at the end, when you come to the total, you just compute your total. It just helps you compute everything. So whatever you're adding, it's totaling it up already for you. You don't have to do the calculation. And then whatever I have left, total after saving for project is this one. And whatever I have left, I now move it to investments. And so for my investments here, I like to invest in things like real estate, startups. I love startup businesses because I really love to see the potential in a person and just give them, invest in them so that they can bring out the idea and bring it to light. And I also do things like growing capital for businesses who already exist, who probably just need funds to continue um, their day-to-day -day operation. So that's that for me. And if you have other things you want to invest yourself, your money in, you can put it there in the pink um, column that exists. Now, so this is the budget. This is my personal budgeting system that helps me compute the money and project properly on what the year would be on how I would spend um, how I would get money as income and how I would spend that money. Now, the next page is now the actual table where I would now compete, compute what really happened. So for my budget in, in my budget for January, I budgeted that I would earn 500,000 Naira in January. Now, when I want to compute my actual I might have earned 700,000 Naira in January as a business person because our monies are never the same. I might have earned 700,000. So instead of, I now know that, okay, I made more than I planned or I budgeted to make. So I'm imputing 700,000 Naira here. And the thing is, again, like I said, once you impute your 700,000 Naira, you see it already automatically calculates it for you, deducts your tax and deducts the tithe. The Excel sheet automatically does that for you. Then, for example, if my rent, if I if I planned that my rent was going to be 333,000 naira per month, my landlord wakes up one morning and says, Winifred, I'm increasing your rent to 5 million. I have to now divide 5 million by 12 and get a new rent. So maybe my rent has now gone up by what? 100,000 naira. Instead of it to be 333,000, it's now 444,000. I'm just assuming. Once you impute the you, the expense for your rent, it comes and it calculates everything for you, giving you, like it literally calculates 
from that expense you have made and from your income it now calculates all of your other expenses it helps you calculate your net profits that you've made from deduct by deducting the income from the expenditure it helps you calculate like the spreadsheet just helps you it does does the work and make makes it very very easy for you so on this actual page is where you are now computing what actually happened to you that particular month in comparison to your budget okay so that's that for the actual again i have to reiterate that it's important for you to first start by creating a budget for for yourself based on your projection when you're creating your budget it's not based on faith what you what you are fitting to have based on what you already what's already happening in your life you create your budgets then your actual can now be where you now bring in your faith work and be like okay i budgeted to make 200 000 and guess what this year this month i made one million kudos to you that's more money for you to save more money for you to invest and all but i'd also say that it's important that no matter how much your income rises it's important that you continue to stay within your budgets your expense budgets so because your income has risen by 30% does not mean that you should now increase your income for that's again if you want to level up on your finances and really make good money for yourself. Just because your income has increased does not mean that you now start spending more money on maybe your solo dates or social events and throwing parties and buying things that you don't actually need. Where what should actually increase should be your savings for your projects or your savings for your investments because that's actually what's going to help you make and create more income sources for you to continue to generate more funds that will help you create this wealth that you so very much deserve, okay? So the next page is the daily income and expenditure page. And this is where you actually impute your daily, your income and expenditure on a daily basis. That way you're able to keep better track of things and you're not waiting until the end of the month before you compute what you have spent on or what you have earned, especially if um, what, you've, what you are earning is not really fixed. Now, this Excel sheet actually works well on mobile phones as well. So you all you have to just put it on your mobile phone and every time you spend whatever you spend on, just go and impute it there so that you do not forget. Remember, the whole idea of having a budget system is to level up on our finances. So every little tiny money you spend, even if it's the five naira you spend to buy sachet water in traffic, you have to impute it into your budget system so that you know exactly where your money went. You should want to know where your money went and what you did with your money. That way you're able to say, okay, next time I'm not going to buy pure water on the road. I'm going to do something, maybe have tap water. That is, like there's something else you can, so you can save that money that you're using to buy pure water on the road. The daily income and expenditure tab is actually very important. And again, if you purchased this Excel sheet, you, it's already computed for you. Um, January, for example, the dates are there. All you have to do is impute your expenditure or your income. And then you can comment and say, okay, this is what I spent on. So that when you are now imputing the monthly one is easy for you to just come here. Um, the total has already been calculated of all this. You just come here, take the total cost and just go and impute it in your actual and say, okay, this is what I spent on rent. This is what I spent on makeup this month after calculating it from your daily income and expenditure tab. Okay. Um, it has for January, February, March, all the way to, um, all the way to December. It's already been done for you. And this again works best very well on both your um, computer and your mobile phone as well. And then the final page on my budget system is an overview, like a summary. And again, like I said, this page is also linked to your, both your, your budgets, your actual and your daily income and expenditure. So the summary just shows you your monthly income. Let me expand that for you guys a bit. Shows you your monthly income, what you budgeted for your monthly income, what you budgeted for expense, what you budgeted for um, your projects and investments. And then it now shows you what actually happened as well. So if you come here, if you click here, monthly income, this is um, is showing my actual income, my actual budget from January to December. So you just have an overview of what you have what you have done with your money, just in case you want a quick, quick summary. But where you should be focusing your most attention on is actually creating the budget, that's with the budget page, 
um, by projecting what you intend to earn and expend, then now creating what actually happened for you um, for each of the months and then imputing your daily income and expenditure if you spend money on a daily basis. And that's pretty much how my budget system works, guys. Is it peasy? Um, trust me, it looks very, um, it looks like a lot, but it's not a lot. Once you understand the table, it's the easiest, easiest thing to do. And again, when you have it on your phone, it's easy for you to just impute and on the go, you have it. And having this budget system has actually really helped me. And then it also helps me with my spending. I don't spend more than my means. I'm staying within it because I have to stay loyal to this budgeting system. This budgeting system has helped me do a lot of projects, has helped me save for a lot of projects and actually execute them. And it just works in a whole lot of ways. I, add, I strongly advise that everyone actually gets or lays their hands on this budget system and start using it today because I promise you, it will literally change your financial life and help you level up in every regard, okay? So I know that this video is already too lengthy. I wanted to share with you some tips on how you can level up on your finances this year, but I'm gonna make another video for that purpose and just look out for that because there are quite a number of tips and I don't want to make this video any longer than it should. Again, I'm gonna put a link in the description box down below on how you can access this very detailed budget system that's very easy to learn, easy to understand, very easy to use. And in that link, um, apart from the, the spreadsheets, I'm also gonna give you a video guide, a proper video guide on how you can use it um, effectively. It's very, very user-friendly, I promise you. And once you have a computer or a phone that can access Excel documents, then you definitely can access this shit. Everyone needs to lay their hands on this so that we all can start leveling up on our finances together this year. It's not worth a lot. I made the price super duper affordable for anyone. Trust me, it's worth more than that, but because I didn't want to give it for free, because people don't really appreciate free things, I decided to put just a little tiny stipend on it. So buy it, it's a good investment, I promise you. So I'll see you in the video where I'm sharing with you the tips that you can use to level up on your finances this year. Remember that when you have your finances in check, you literally have 50% of your life very well put together. So ensure you're leveling up on your finances. I'll see you next time with another video. Until then, remember to stay very elegant.